you tell the folks back home what day it is? It's opening morning, son. <laughs> it's time to go kill a deer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just made it up here. Dun, 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 dun. We got really good news. So I was just on this other side glassing for the bucks I saw last night and I was glassing down and we got a stud four point. My buddy Cooper's calling. Hello? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. You still got eyes on him? Yeah. Okay. How close is he from like going out of sight of you? Like into like a cut or something? He's dude, he's in the wide open feeding towards more of the wide open. Okay, so my dad, I told my dad, he's he's climbing up the hill right now, the last hill before the cutoff trail. Yeah. So I just the whole butt to you, and then when he gets to you, then he'll watch him while you take off. And yeah, over. for sure. So, yeah, I would take vid, whatever you want to do, mark him, and then wait for him, and then it'll be packed up. So, like, in 10 minutes when he gets to you, you're able to free just take off and hopefully bed him in a perfect spot. Oh, yeah, dude, where he's going to hopefully bed is money, dude. We should, money? oh, yeah, it's, like, wide open everywhere. Exactly. Yeah, for sure, dude. We're going to get him. So, Cooper's dad hiked up to the ridge that I was glassing on just so I can come on this farther point to kind of watch this one buck bed. And I found a way bigger buck. But he's straight down this ridge, kind of in a little goalie. So if Cooper gets over here, we have a really, really good chance at going on this backside hiking and then jumping over and then shooting down at him. <laughs> I can't believe this. This might be one of the bucks we scouted, but he looks almost bigger. Absolute be beautiful buck. 165, 170, he's just way bigger than this one.
uphill, so if there's a bush blocking, we'll be okay. Yeah. I just want to get like 60 yards ish. For sure. Set. For sure. Okay, first stop this morning, whoa, didn't work out, so first thing this uh, this morning, Braden glassed a buck, a really nice buck we hadn't seen before, so we made a play on that bigger buck, it didn't work out, and he ended up betting in a group of pines, we know he's in there somewhere, so my dad, he um, was able to find this buck, and he bedded in a little clump of pines, and he's in a really good spot for us, so we're going to work around, and then come in, and get over the top, and hopefully work down, and hopefully be able to see him. <laughs> in that group of, pl uh, of pines.
well. Just swing and a miss for down an arrow. So we sat here for, I don't know. So he was standing for, he stood up and we had been watching him for, I don't know, what have we been here, 30 minutes probably? Yeah. And he stood up and I said, Braden, Braden. And then. And I drew and I. Just I just, I. Yeah, and I just didn't, I just didn't settle on him. I was just kind of uneasy. I didn't pick a spot. It just randomly happened. It's always fast. Dude. Yeah. Like we were kind of comfortable. Yeah. Stand, and then so, just boom, and then so. she was already up. So I thought he, we had some more time, but. What a stock though, up. dude. That was so fun. We freaking crushed yeah. that stock. Good morning everybody, it's day number two. I'm packing the bow today. We're kind of chasing elk and then hopefully we can see some bucks. We scouted this place uh, last weekend and saw some pretty good bucks, but absolutely beautiful this morning and I just can't wait. Let's hopefully find a big bull and put a stalk on him and hopefully get him down. So yesterday was full of events as you guys saw, so hopefully today's the same. Okay, it's day two. Um, we came into a bit of a different area this morning. Uh, we didn't see anything right off the bat, but we ended up <clears throat> gussing two bucks over here, a wide three point and a nice tall four point, similar to the one I missed yesterday. So hopefully, um, they're bedded right now. We think they're in their morning bed. Um, we can see both of them. So we're gonna wait, see if they re-bed or wait till about 11 or 12 and then go make a play. But it's a long ways around this basin. It'll probably be two and a half mile loop to get above them because it's a mile and a half as a crow flies to where they're at. So. It's gonna be a long day, another grinder. So hopefully we get it done today. Oh, I hope they go down to that draw. We made her to this place that I mean kind of glass pretty dang good and we're just gonna try to glass the bucks up that we saw bedded from way over on that ridge just because we they kind of went behind a tree and from this angle we kept cruising the ridge so we can kind of maybe see into the um, the tree where they're at so that's kind of the plan me and Cooper made it to this nasty hill we still got a freaking crazy solid climb in the middle of the day, but this is when you kill big deer. So fingers crossed, Cooper can make it happen. And let's just put the spotter out and try to glass and see if we can't find them. guys the bucks win once again we didn't know what what happened honestly jaron was up on the top glassing said the bucks just got up and started going straight away from us so and we waited for the wind to blow and then we walked but it's just shell rock in this crap so it freaking sucks day number three of grinding and today I'm not packing my bow I'm helping Cooper try and kill a big deer
morning everybody it's day number four morning of day number four and currently we're just kind of waiting out a storm it's been raining on us off and on for the past hour and a half kind of making it hard to even get to the glassing point we're headed in for deer today might be some elk i didn't even bring my bow so cooper's dad can just go kill it but either way we're headed in for deer mainly and with all this weather we've been having the past 24 hours super windy and now pretty damn rainy i think after this last rainstorm the bucks should hopefully be out of their beds and feeding so wish us luck hopefully we can put some stalks on deer and just finish this hunt with a bang we've had a crazy good morning already so we just made it to the top glassing point like i told you guys the rain finally passed and it just super amazing right now glassed up a little raghorn bull elk actually so Cooper's dad might stalk that if we don't chase the buck we just found. He's a nice four point, nothing special, but it's day number four and he's on the mature side. Like he's definitely probably four years old, three to four. Just a decent buck. We're gonna see if we can't find any more, but he might be a potential shooter if he beds in a good spot. He's definitely in a really, really good spot right now. So we'll see, we'll keep glassing, try to keep an eye out on this buck and see if there's any more with him. So we'll see if we can slip in there, make a good shot, and then if not, we got a really big or a nice buck down here in the bottom of the canyon. Uh, we're gonna wait for the evening to make a play on him, but for now, we're gonna head up this face right here and get above these bucks. So uh, let's get after it.
that shot. Really bad shot. Really bad shot. Oh my gosh. He's hurt. Really bad shot. Really bad shot. He was bleeding. Stop right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> How lucky. Well, we, I don't know, just tell the story. We're honest here. Yeah, I just, we got here and we've been sitting on it. I just looked right before he stood up for 45 minutes. And he finally stood up and we got up and I drew back and I said, pick a spot. At, but I hit far back. But he only went. 100 yards embedded and he, he looks bedded bleeding out. He's, there's a blood puddle rushing right next to him. So, I'm not happy with that shot at all, but one thing about this brand and what I'm working on is just no matter how the outcome is, I'm honest. I don't like it's just what happens. It's hunting. It's hunting. Yeah. Like seriously. So, I don't care if you guys Bad, bad talk, Cooper. That buck's gonna die right this there. buck's dead. He's dead and right there, so. <laughs> it was not what we wanted. I mean, that's what we trained for. But we trained a lot, we and, a lot and like you guys saw last year, I didn't make a great shot on that split ear buck. But he died really fast, and this buck looks like he's just gonna bed. So we're gonna sit right here and just watch him. Holy crap! What a freaking roller coaster. So obviously, you guys have seen Cooper didn't make the best shot in the world. I think his bubble was just effed up because it's so hard to just think of every little thing you need to do while you're in the situation of pulling back on a freaking deer at 20 yards or 30 yards, 29 yards. And there's just so many little things we got to get more dialed. He's 20, I'm 19. We're just still trying to figure it out, trying to become better archers as the years go on. So if you guys think that we're just gonna be professionals at this young of age. We aren't, we ain't professionals. We're just doing what we love and trying to film it. But either way, all I'm trying to say is Cooper ended up trying to put a stock on this buck one more time. He did a death run all the way down to this bottom part and then bedded again. And then I watched him tip over and then Cooper just made sure, but he's dead. So he's freaking dead. And now I'm just in my socks. We just shot from up there. Shot him down in these trees, so let's go check him out. Freaking kind of sad. It sucks doing this. This is why archer hunting sucks. But either way, he's dead. And now we got a long, long hike, hike out of here. So let's go check him out. Well, as you can tell, this blood is everywhere. Like easy blood trail. And then Cooper's right there. You got him, dude. Give me some. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that was shitty. It was shitty. It was shitty, but he's dead. Yep, he's he dead. Was, he was like, only alive like 30 minutes. After. I know, that's the thing. His, yeah, it wasn't even wasn't even 40 minutes. As archers, we just want to make the best shot ever. And when you guys, obviously some of you guys have probably done it or watching this video. When you don't do it, it literally is just heartbreaking. Although hard work and preparation to leading onto this, and then you just can't make the perfect shot because either forget doing stuff, the wind, or just misranging. There's all sorts of crap that you can name. Or just buck fever. <laughs> buck fever, exactly, but we got him. There's blood everywhere. Just on the other side of that tree dead over there. Yeah, dude. That was a grind of a hunt.
not what we wanted in the shot, but he only went maybe 200 yards and 30 minutes alive, so it worked out, but it's never what you practice for. So we got lucky, but I'm super stoked with him. Super heavy, double kind of double uh, bladed eye guard. So four days we worked hard and uh, we still got Colorado up next, so. Super fun hunt, hopefully you guys enjoyed all that. There's a lot of action, it was full of just stalks and stalks. Super fun.